Okay, today I'm going to be making some changes to my computer. I'm going to be trying to uh, brighten up the inside of my case a little bit as well as making it a little bit quieter. So, I'm going to do that by replacing all the Corsair fans with some BitPhoenix Spectre Pros. These uh, light up white. And the fans they're going to be replacing, as you can see I have a 200 millimeter in the back right here. It's going to replace a stock Corsair fan. This one doesn't seem to move a lot of air. And outside the case, it's very quiet, but uh, I read online and it seems uh, the design of the blades make it so that whenever it's pulling air through the front grille, it makes it very loud. I'm also going to be replacing the stock exhaust. I'm also going to be replacing stock fans on my H100 unit. Now, I don't expect these new Spectre Pros to perform near as well as the Corsair fans on full power, but I'm hoping they perform at around the same level as uh, they do on the minimum speed because that's what I always run it at. And I don't have an extreme overclock on it, so it's really not crucial that I get the best heat transfer. So, uh, yeah, I'll get this fan swapped and show you what it looks like video. So, I, I will say I do like the uh, smoked opaque plastic color of the fan a lot. Uh, just a note, if you get a different LED color, I got the white by the way, uh, if you were to get red, these little fins radiating from the center would be uh, red, or if you got blue, they would be blue. But since uh, I got white, these are just uh, clear. You have quite a few mounting hole options there. So, since 200 millimeters is not a standard size, you shouldn't have any issues. You'll be seeing the Bit Phoenix logo through the front of the case. And I really like the center of the fan. And uh, the other ones will look the same, just smaller. And I believe they have a square frame on the outside. But you'll see that later in the video. Okay, so I've got everything all set up. I think I have about the best setup I could possibly get with these fans. So, uh, it, it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but I'll show you what everything looks like. So, take off the side panel first. So, you can see there's the uh, former exhaust fans. There's not really much of a glow coming from the top fans. And, uh, might not be able to see it because of the flash, but this is lighting up and it does light up the case pretty well on the inside. As you can see, it's got a nice little glow. I, I think uh, these fans look fantastic, which is a definite plus. Uh, they're a little bit quieter than the Corsair fans were at their lowest settings. Uh, not too significant. Uh, right now, they're running full powered, which they always will. And uh, I'm in the middle of Prime 95 testing right now. So it looks like they're running maybe a degree warmer than what the old Corsair fans were. And, uh, which is really what I was expecting. But in order to even get that, I had to turn this fan around while this was an exhaust fan before. It, it does move a little bit more air than the original case fan did, so it was kind of stealing fan from the radiator fans, or rather it was stealing air from the radiator fans. Uh, so I turned it around. Um, before I did that, it was running probably five or six degrees warmer than the original Corsair stock fans were. So. Uh, Definitely let that be uh, a warning to anybody who's looking for more cooling. Uh, definitely don't get the Spectre fans. Uh, it, it performs really the way I was expecting. Uh, I, I don't push my system a lot in terms of CPU. More graphics performance is what I demand from it. Uh, as well, I don't have an extreme overclock. So the performance is really... It's what I was expecting, and nothing that shocks me. 
Uh, one thing I was a little bit disappointed with was the noise. Um, I wanted them. I wanted them to be a little bit quieter. But you know, that's reality. I guess uh, I wanted the best of everything. So uh, if you want quiet, good performing fans, I guess the only way to go for radiators would be uh, Noctua NFF12s. But that's definitely more than I need to spend, and it's nothing that I need. So uh, I guess we'll get the final results here for temperatures in a little bit and uh, wrap things up. Okay, so this first set of results is uh, what I got whenever I ran the H100 fans at full speed. As you can see, if you uh, decide to make your browser or your player full screen, uh, the average load temperature across all the cores were 42 degrees. Uh, this made a temperature delta of 19 degrees, which is very respectable. However, it's just unbearably loud, so I was never running it at this setting. I was usually running it at the quietest setting possible, so uh, that's what I'll show you next. So here you can see uh, the ambient temperature was a little bit higher, but uh, I also got significantly higher load temperatures. Uh, this time I got a temperature delta of 24.5 degrees Celsius, which uh, is still very acceptable and it, it, it meets and exceeds my needs. So uh, this is really going to be the benchmark for what I expect out of the uh, Spectre Pro fans. So uh, we'll show you them next. So here you have the BitPhoenix Spectre Pros. Uh, as you can see, they... Uh, had a one degree higher temperature delta, which uh, overall its performance is like I said exactly what I expected. Uh, you know, I knew that it would be around the Corsair fans at their lowest settings, but what I gain out of this is uh, a little bit of silence. Uh, but more importantly, it, it really lights up my case, and you know, I bought these fans for an aesthetic purpose, and it fills that purpose beautifully. Uh, so, you know, I, I guess the lesson here is don't get these fans expecting ultimate performance on your radiator. Uh, I, I know uh, BitPhoenix kind of has on their website saying that they're good water cooling fans, but, you know, they're really very average. So, uh, knowing that, you know, overall I can say these fans do exactly what I expect of them. Uh, the only thing that I would say is maybe they could have been a little bit quieter, but overall, uh, I'm very satisfied with them.